So I think the people that we saw earlier in the vehicles were playing a game of ch chat and animal. Because we've got both. We've got the lions. They weren't too far away. I just I literally couldn't see them. I saw something. I thought I'd seen something moving through the grass. And they were off to the left. But we have got the Angama llamas now, who are actually moving towards us now. You did see there were some elephants behind those lions. But there is something, hopefully something entertaining is going to happen. I can't see him just yet, but we had an encounter with a very frisky elephant bull a moment ago. And he sort of mock charged us. I was just driving very slowly and decided he's going to chase after us. I stopped and then he stopped. And then we had words and then that was fine. So I'm hoping that he comes in this direction because the mood that he's in, he'll po hopefully come through here like a bowling ball and the lions will be the pins. And it could be very, very exciting. Um, he He's not in must. I mean, we'll see him in a little bit. He isn't in must. He's... Uh, He's just, maybe he's pre must or just after. I can't see any any of the obvious signs just yet. But he's definitely in a bit of a boisterous mood. So we're going to keep away from him. We don't want any troublemaking elephants. Now, have you lions eaten anything in the last few days? I haven't seen you for quite some time. The last time I saw these guys, they were feeding on an eland. Remember, that was so, sure, that feels like ages ago. They do look like they've got a little bit of a belly. There's definitely no shortage of food. Oh, no, no, they don't. No, they ate maybe something small the last few days, or it's just their tummy getting smaller and smaller after the big meals that they have had. But there's one of the lionesses, and they'll probably head back in the direction of their lugger in, in the next day or two, maybe even this evening. That's just a pity, unfortunately, again, we're not in an off-roading area, uh, so they're quite far away from us. And I wonder... I'm going to just change the angle of the car quickly. Because I'm going to reveal a variety of animals. There's the bull I was telling you about. He's just standing off to the side now. He's he's actually going in the wrong direction. Hopefully, the, well, there's actually no breeze at all. It's very still this morning. And if he picks up the scent of those lions, I reckon that he he's in such a mood he'll probably come around this way. He's a big fella. He's not a young boy. So it's not like he's a 20-year-old that's, you know, full of testosterone and can't do anything about it. He is pretty much fully grown. He'll probably get a bit bigger than that. Tusks will definitely start to grow a little bit longer. One actually looks much shorter than the other. And then there's also a giraffe just off to the right that is staring down the lions at the moment. But the lions don't seem particularly interested in them at all today. There's the giraffe. Just one. I still would love to see lions taking down a giraffe. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. Now, these lions are not cooperating. I thought that they were going to wake up, but it seems as though they're, they're not. They are They're going to sleep. They were grooming one another, but sometimes they'll also do that just before they go and have a bit of a siesta. And if that's the case, then we, we won't hang around here for too much longer. Uh, like I said, they're exceptionally far away. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I see you've all been tweeting away with some answers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, I believe... Thank you, Fuzzman. No, I have to wait for Kirst to finish talking before I try and say this again. Okay. So, thank you, Fuzzman Sparkles. You said that there were four endemic birds. I don't know if I'm going to remember them all, but the Sharps, Longclaw, the the Hinders, Babbler, there, and there were two others. It was one cisticular and something else, and a weaver, too. But I'm not exactly sure, so it was quite a mouthful coming through. But that's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to write them down, and I'll have a look uh, in my, my book as well to see... Uh, exactly which ones. I will mark them off and we'll add them to a bucket list because I would love to see birds that are specifically endemic to an area that I'm not going to see anywhere else, which would be quite nice, don't you think? I think it would be a nice rarity. But our lions are just sitting out on the grass. Their heads are just, you know, literally just above it. They're staring around. They haven't gone completely flat just yet, but that could change in a split second, in an absolute split second. Our elephant is now changing direction, though. That's good. Come this way. Would you watch him? Look at that trunk, smelling. 
I think he's picked up. I think he's picked up on the the scent of these lines, which would be quite interesting. Except he's still about two hundred meters away, and if he walks at that pace, it might take him a a little bit longer to get here, or he's going to go and give the giraffe some trouble. This could be a really cool size comparison, though. Look at this. So we've got the largest land mammal, and then we've got the tallest land mammal. And you can see how much taller that giraffe is. Also, though, that giraffe is going to look a little bit taller than what it is because it's standing on slightly higher ground. But typically, a fully grown elephant bull should stand anywhere between four and four and a half meters at, at sort of shoulder height. And these giraffe, the Maasai giraffe, can get well over 18 foot. So isn't that an amazing size comparison? To see two of the world's largest land mammals standing next to one another. Of course, you can't compare, though. Uh, a giraffe weighs nowhere near how much an elephant bull would weigh. They, these guys probably weigh, a well, southern giraffe weighs up to 1.2 tons. It'll be a big male. So I would say that a Maasai giraffe probably weighs about maybe a couple of hundred kilos more than that. So maybe anywhere between 1.4 tons, 1.5 tons, somewhere around there. Perhaps I'm being a bit generous. Maybe the, the weight is not too far off the southern giraffe at all. I'd imagine, though, if you've got an extra meter and a half on, you'd weigh a little bit. And this elephant bull... He's not the biggest one I've seen. I'd put him at anywhere between four and a half and five tons. So a relatively large fella, but nice. Hey, giraffe, your head is almost touching the top of the escarpment. No, I'm just joking, it's far off. Very cool. He's, he's a naughty boy. He's feeding every now and then, but he's definitely, he's curious about what's going on. He keeps picking up sense that trunk is working way too hard. All his walking the same route that the herd of elephants we saw uh, when we first arrived in the sighting just behind the lines that could be the other thing he could be tailing a female that's maybe coming into estrus maybe he's going to go and do his rounds and and check all the breeding herds he's just come from one breeding herd so he could be heading to another one that's exactly it that you might find that a female has specifically walked. see how he keeps putting his trunk on the ground yes he is looking for small little titbits to feed on but there'll definitely be a scent trail that's left behind that we just obviously can't see or smell. Oh my goodness, that was cool. Even the giraffe is saying, yeah, I don't like the look of you. I'm going to keep out of your way. Though I've never seen an elephant and a giraffe in an altercation before. I've seen other elephants having an altercation, buffalo and elephants, and also I've seen rhino and elephants having altercations now paula you're wondering if that giraffe is pregnant uh, it's very far away can we maybe can we go up to its head very quickly i just wanted to make sure it does look like it could be a female hair so she's got quite sort of thick uh aussie cones and just typically a male but looking at her coloration maybe it's a girl that's hard to tell she could be she couldn't be and they do have a bit of a bulge obviously from from their bellies they're quite round around the mid the mid section from here it's a bit difficult but yes i don't see any balding no i think it is a female got to be sure though because sometimes you look at a giraffe and think yep female and then it'll be a young male that just hasn't quite grown into himself just yet sometimes a bit deceiving a couple of ox peckers also just flying off the giraffe not from the elephant you can actually still hear them it might be a bit too far away from here but it looks like they're hanging around where are they jumping? Because I can hear them. No, I don't know where they are. So I'm wondering if it's going to be worth hanging around here because these lions are... I think this is the end of the day. I think that they are going to go to sleep now. Yeah, they don't really look like they're going to move, are they? Okay. What are you watching, girls? I think they're watching the giraffe now. And they're also watching the uh, the elephant. We'd be more interested in the giraffe, though, because that's potentially could go on the menu. But I don't think they're going to do anything. I think we're going to move on. I think I'm going to go and find other lions. I think that's going to be my idea. I have no tolerance for sitting with flat cats that are far away in a non-off-roading area. Also, I hope that there's no cars behind me because I can't see. I'm just going to go with it. I'm